Sharon Bridge here and welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title today's video we are doing like um, a Christmas warm glam look using basically what we've got recently in our glossy advent calendar and our glossy Christmas box. I know I have lost a lot of love for glossy box of late and you will have seen that in my previous video um, but that doesn't mean that I have lost the love for the boxes and the stuff that we get inside the boxes. That is not my issue at all i really really love the glossy boxes so i thought what i would do is create like a easy christmas sort of warm glam sort of look um using a few of the products um obviously i will list everything in the description bar below if you would like um but i do obviously for the i haven't put my full face of uh, base makeup in this video it's purely just the eyes and the lips and a little bit of highlighter which was this uh, Steve Laurent wow and it says you can use this on the eyes which I have on the eyes and I have used it as a highlighter because I just wanted to see what it was like and it is blinding and it's a beautiful rose gold and it goes with the look perfectly so mainly the eye look was done using the NYX palette and we also used the um, Bella Pierre eye candy eyeshadow liquid eyeshadow and i have to say it said it doesn't crease and so far it's not creasing so and i have older lady eyes so it's really really good loving it so far i've had this on for a little while because i had to go downstairs to fix my hair before i did the big we're finished kind of thing at the end of my video um but yeah um, this is the look i created also using the lashes from the christmas box too love them i haven't put mascara on i know it says that you, you you should or you you could but i tend to feel like if i put mascara on i'm not going to get as many wears out of them which is why i don't anywho i am rambling i will possibly ramble at the end of this video but if you want to see how i created this simple warm glam sort of christmasy vibe look then carry on watching guys the first thing we're doing is we're going into this uh, matte white shade just to set the eyelid so just get a nice packing brush and pack it on over any concealer or primers that you've already applied There are no shade names for this palette so we're going into this shade next and we're just, just going to use this as a transition shade and apply it in the crease and then blend it up towards the brow And now we're getting this gorgeous warm toned red colour and we're just going to pack that onto the outer corner and into the crease and then blend it out. So to begin with I'm using like a, a Spectrum's brush which is like a detailed brush. I'm just using that to apply the shadow and then I will switch over in a little bit once I've got enough shadow on that I'm happy and I'll switch over to a fluffier brush just to blend it all together. And there's the fluffy brush so just blend it all out until you're completely happy that's all I do just take your time and blend away now we're going into this shimmery sort of shade here and we're just going to use that as a brow highlight so we just get an angled brush and just run it along the edge of the brow and the upper lid if that makes sense and then I do get a little brush and then blend the two together so it looks a lot neater Now we're going into this uh, brown shade and we're going to pack that, just pack it on for now onto the outer corner and a little tiny bit on the crease, a little bit on the outer corner, not too much. And now we're taking a W7 concealer. You don't have to conceal your lid or cut a crease here if you don't want to, because the product we're applying next to, next, you don't need, but it's just a habit. So um, we are taking the Bella Pierre, and it is the uh, liquid eyeshadow eye candy in the color Venus. It is stunning. It's beautiful. It doesn't crease. It applies so well. Love it. 
So now we're taking the Steve Laurent pigment and I'm just applying a tiny bit of that between the dark um, matte shade that I've applied and the liquid eyeshadow that I've applied. Just to, I wanted to just try the shadow out basically, um, to see what it was like on the eyes and it's really pretty, it went quite well with the look. And then I just got a brush with no product on it and just blended all the colours together. Now we're going into our Makeup Revolution Renaissance Flick Liner and we're just doing a basic eyeliner. No wings, nothing fancy because you're going to be putting lashes on so you don't need anything fancy. I use the eyeliner just because it gives a neater edge when you're applying an eyelash. So we'll do the other eye. And then we go in with the Lashtopia Mascara from Bare Minerals and just apply that to the upper lashes for now. Now we're going into the LA Splash Lashes. These are amazing. These are Golden Gatsby and they're Faux Mink Lashes. So pretty. We're back with a full face and we're going back into the NYX palette and we're going into that warm red tone and we're just going to apply that to the lower lash line and just smoke it out. Just smoke it all out. It's a super easy look. Any of you guys can create this. It's so easy and it turns out really, really nice once you've finished. Now we're going into that shimmery shade again and we're just going to use this as an inner corner highlight so just pop it on the inner corner and you're good to go. Now we're using a Mark Avon liner just for the waterline and then back into the Lashtopia mascara from Bare Minerals for the lower lashes. And now we're taking that Steve Laurent pigment and we're going to try it as a highlighter. I felt like it was a little bit heavy now I've looked back on it, but it is really pretty. But I don't think I'd use it as a highlighter on the face. For lips, we are going into the Love the Faithful Lacquered Lip Stain. It is the shade Elusive Endurance, I think. Um, really pretty colour, not sure about how it feels afterwards. And there we are. look guys it's super easy you can do this with the products that you've got in your either your glossy advent or your glossy um christmas box it was super easy the liquid eyeshadow like i said at the beginning is really really pretty and so is the steve laurent pigment not just for a highlighter which is really really pretty but it, i've also got it popped a little bit on my on my lid as well which you will have seen in the video um yeah the lip color i love the color it does transfer a little bit to your teeth um it hasn't dried down I've had it on for a little while and it is still on my finger like it says that it's smudge proof budge proof but I, I don't know how um, I don't know I don't think it is a, a, st a smudge proof budge proof sort of lip stain but it is a really pretty color and it goes perfectly with this eye look so like I said at the beginning I have no I've lost no love for the glossy box themselves the boxes like that is not my issue um i just love getting their boxes every month um it's just a shame their customer service is so so poor i'm not gonna go on i'm not gonna ramble on about it because i don't need to you have seen the video yourself if you haven't go back and see me unboxing december's glossy box and you'll understand what i mean but yeah i just wanted to create a look using um some of the products that we received in the box and, and a couple of from the advent calendar um, i didn't want to do too many because uh, obviously we are on day 11 of the glossy box advent and um, I know obviously what is in the rest of the boxes so I didn't want to use anything that may ruin it for anybody so I've just used basically the few things up to the 11th and the glossy box advent advent and the glossy box Christmas box could have used the limited edition box um, but because it was a limited edition i thought if i went with the uh, glossy box with the liquid eyeshadow and things in it there's more chance that you guys will want to give it a go and try out the look yourselves so without me rambling on anymore if you did enjoy this video give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel see what else there is to come if you do recreate this look yourself or something similar let me know if you're on instagram let me know tag me i'd love to see your looks um especially using the glossy box christmas box products i'd love to see what you guys create um but i've got sticky up hair but i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you have a great day night morning evening whatever it is you're doing when you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one bye